sixth day of Lent. Good morning and praise the Lord. And our topic today is God's elect, which we are reading from Romans 9, verses 10 to 18. But for this morning, we will read 10 to 13. Not only that, but Lebekah's children had one and the same father. Uh, our father Isaac, yet before the twins were born, all had done anything good or bad in order that God's purpose in election might stand, not by works, but by him who calls, she, to, she was told, the older will serve the younger, just as is written, Jacob I loved, and, but Esau I hated. Now, when we are reading uh, from this book of uh, Romans, Paul is letting us to know about God's election, which is not ab ab based upon our performance, it's not based upon our works, but it is uh, by the purposes of God, and as we did in verse uh, 11 and 12. And the scriptures continue to teach us about the uh, election based on the God's uh, foreknowledge of the person uh, free will, and hence the ability to choose him. Peter says, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, and by and sprinkling by his blood. This we read in First Peter and First uh, chapter one and verse two. We have a choice whether we choose God or we don't. So whether you decide that you are not choosing God, already you have chosen uh, your destiny. And God's desire is that we choose Him, and uh, God does not will, uh, override our will. He gives us some free will of choosing him, and we must acknowledge the mighty and shakeable will of God for us. Peter says in Second uh, Peter uh, chapter number three and verse nine that God does not want any one of us uh, to perish, and so He wants all of us to uh, choose Him. Concerning election and predestination, I want to use an analogy this morning of a great ship, and this uh, great ship is the church of Jesus Christ chosen by God to be his own very vessel. The captain is uh, Christ Jesus and he is also the pilot. And all who desire to be part of this erect ship and its captain can do so through a living uh, faith in Christ by which we all come on board the ship. As long as they are in the ship, and as long as they're in the company of the captain who is Christ Jesus, then we are among the elect of God. If you abandon the ship, you cease to be the elect. The invitation is for every one of us. So the point of reflection this morning is, have you boarded the ship? And if you have boarded, have you, are you still in the ship? Because you know you can disembark. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.